So how you doing? Uh, we got a cool video for today. We're just gonna run a Husqvarna 350 and cut a little firewood. Now, as a couple of videos get progressed here though, you're gonna see some better stuff. Uh, we got a ported 372 clone coming up and a home light 1050 uh, 100cc saw coming up. So we got some cool content coming for you guys, you know? So stick around. We got a bunch of videos in this here that's, uh, that's coming up on this project. Uh, I thought you guys would enjoy it, you know? So here you go. We're gonna kind of throw you guys a little out of timeline because you got really two more videos until you get to where I'm at now. So, you know, uh, just keep that in mind. I'm actually working on the cleanup. So all the little stuff's out. I am getting ready here. I, uh, it's actually at the end of the day. So next time I come up here, I'll bring the log splitter and get that stuff split up. I got all the brush piled up there. We're gonna have ourselves a nice little bonfire, you know? In fact, I could probably wait until this other tree is down uh, and add that brush to it because there ain't a whole lot of brush to that tree. So we'll see. We might burn it before. We might wait till after. We'll see how that goes. But there she is. She's down. Working on the cleanup. Now, this little nub of a cherry tree that's here, I'll probably end up taking that down for some firewood. Uh, you can see, see the posted sign. So my property corner is literally actually just a couple of feet off of that tree there. I think it's like two or three feet past that. Just to give you an idea, because the reason I say that is because there's a fence line running through here. Uh, and I'm pretty certain the fence is on his side, but I don't know where exactly the property line is. You know what I mean? But I think it's it's in this general area. Basically this tree line, you know? And if you follow this tree line all the way down, I mean, you've seen enough of my videos, you know there's a road right there. Basically where that road hits this straight line, that's the, the far corner of my property. I'm probably gonna take out a couple of this stuff here that's hanging over none of the nothing grows there no grass and i think if i clean that up that'll help you know take a look out here look at the view that's some farms and fields Farms and fields, farms and fields. The town I live in, this is actually the one corner. It's like a little town, and I wouldn't even call it a town. A village, maybe. So, yeah, there ain't much. Just a couple of houses along the road, you know. Great view, though. This is Pennsylvania. Uh, this is part of the Appalachian mountain chain and we're kind of in a little valley here. Got the fire ring in place. That's where I'm going to put her. Uh, I was going to have it the other way, but once I flopped it off the truck, it landed upside down and I'll tell you what, I kind of like that. It's just kind of cool like that. So I'm going to leave it. Uh, I just put a little piece of pipe through there just to help feed some air. And I'll probably have to keep after it with the ash, you know, just, just so it has some air coming in from the bottom, you know, to help it burn nice and hot. Keep that smoke from building up too much. But I think she's pretty cool. I like that. Once she gets good and hot, all that coloring and everything will change. So, yeah, we gotta, we're gonna have to do a, a first fire in the fire ring, I think, one of these days. Let me do a live feed. What do you think? A little live feed from the fire? That'd be kind of cool. Uh, here's some firewood. We're gonna, that's what we're gonna do to stack our firewood. This maple tree, it's like taken down. We're just gonna do a little round stack here, maybe two, but that's where we're gonna put our firewood. And, 
this is going to, we're just going to let that grow back in grass. And then we're just going to stick pieces of firewood around for seeding. Something simple. And then maybe eventually we'll weld together a rack to put over that for, you know, cooking. I did, I was thinking about putting rock around it, but, uh, I think it'll be a lot easier to weed eat around if I just leave it like that. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm going to do. I just got to get this air vent system here that I put in just a little bit better. Maybe even dig this hole out a little bit, this grass out, just to help it keep it from plugging up so easy, you know. But I think that'll work to help keep some air going into the bottom, don't you? That one little pipe. I found that piece of pipe buried over here in the weeds. Uh, there's a bunch of random stuff in these weeds and whatever you want to call this. We're going to clean this up. I uh, found some tin over there, some metal. That's going to be the metal we use for the chicken coop. So I wanted to get that dug out and then we just kind of found a few more things. And I know there's more in there. There's two railroad track, two sections of railroad track, about three or three feet long, maybe. Uh, I don't know where they are. And I think they're in there somewhere. So I want to find them. See, at one time, this was all gravel. You can kind of see evidence of it over there. And I want to get this all cleaned up because this is going to be a lean-to for the lawnmower and the log splitter. You know, storing some of our equipment or whatever we end up with. And I need to get this cleaned up.
So I hope you enjoyed this little video of the Husqvarna 350 making a little bit of firewood. It's a great day today. It is absolutely perfect. So, you know, why not get a little work done? Uh, hope you enjoyed this one and we'll catch you on the next one later.